Hey everybody, this is Ku Impact with Let's Play Gibbous, a Cthulhu adventure. Get back in, box. Get back in bounds. And, of course, we've explored a lot of options here, but we haven't talked to the cabbie yet. So we might as well go over and do that. Evening. It sure is. Hey, you kind of sound like a guy from a game with Muppets. Not him, but, you know. You know anything about this mysterious building you're parked next to? Look, kid, it's a taxi, not a guided two of us. I do taxi, but you that's a lot it. Of customers tonight? Not if you don't move out of the way, I don't. Hey, it's me, the scrungy guy who comes in and sells you macaroni on the street. Get a lot of customers tonight? Not if. Okay, I already said that one. There's that blonde lady over there. Oh, yeah, brought her here a while ago. What can you tell me about her? Man, that sounds creepy as hell. You an investigator or something? I'm looking for one. Yep, B. Kerwin P.I. Not yet, but I'm slowly becoming one. Nope, I'm just a friend. Not yet, but I'm slowly becoming one. Wink. Yeah, sorry. Not gonna say anything, son. Her business is her business. So about the... Yeah? What shit are you? I'm her priest. I'm her legal advisor, I'm her friend, I'm her priest. I'm her priest. I'm I'm really worried about her, <laughs> her soul and, and, and stuff. Priest in this town? Well, God bless you, father. But look for divine inspiration elsewhere, will you? I'm her legal advisor. I just keep close and make sure she doesn't do anything crazy. In that case, I don't know nothing, ain't seen nothing. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm a friend. I'm a little worried about her, so I watch her from afar. Oh, friend. Right. Air quotes. I happen to have overheard what her name is. You know, taxi stuff, nothing creepy. Surely you know it too, since you're friends. <laughs> God damn I'm it. having a temporary memory. Sure. Lapse, so I'll get back oh, to Oh, yeah, yeah, Shirley. I... Her name's not Shirley, is it? Oh, look at this. Did miss something. This small window somehow communicates with the interior. How cool is that? It's a tiny window for cats. A warm reddish orange glow emanates from its tiny opening. You send Kitae. Even she can't squeeze in through there. Oh. Uh, hello there? Password? What do you mean password? Password. Nice try, buddy. Okay. Well, maybe it's Swordfish. Uh, I mean, there? come on, it's got kind of Swordfish, right? Swordfish. Too classic. Okay, so that password's outdated. That's a uh, different point-and-click adventure. Password? All right, Ken sent me. Ken sent me. Wrong game, my friend. Damn it! I thought he would fall for it because I thought it was the same game. Fine. If you won't accept my passwords, I will take my business elsewhere. Maybe I should have used the Necronomicon on him. <laughs> Maybe that would have worked. Maybe Ku would have gotten anything out of this. It's the door to the fishery. I want to go into the fishery. We have bigger fish to fry, Buzz. Oh, come I see on. what you did there. It's closed and locked. Damn it. How does one help, small girl, when I have no idea how to activate fish? Wait, we can go this way. Hold up, we can go this way. Oh, the library. What about you have to say to, about this? Darkham is particularly horrid this time of year. Yeah, it, you know what it reminds me of? The cities in Blinks the Time Sweeper. <laughs> Maybe Mom should have stayed. See any of the maybe. geometry in the town that he rose in that game? You'll know what I'm talking about. No time for sightseeing. Oh, come on. I just have to walk down the stairs to go back to it. Okay, we've seen this Darkham. We need more Darkham. Well, at least it's not Fishmouth. Sure it is. Do you really like it here? You never really stop and think about it. But you're going to college I really here. I need to get out of this place permanently. I, mean, I don't think Kid A is going to have anything to say. Well, if it isn't stinky, crumbling, wretched, repulsive old Darkham. The place I call home. 
I guess human beings will adapt to anything. Well, that's a true statement. No time for sightseeing. All right, the moon. Moon. Oh, moon, mistress of the night. Kerwin. I'd love to look at it again, but Kitty's gonna throw a literal hissy fit. Oh, come on. Let's keep moving. Doesn't like the yeah, moon. Yeah, it doesn't do anything, really. Mr. Orn really likes his library covered in spiky vegetation. And why is that, Buzz? I guess it does hide some of the more unfortunate architectural choices. No point in making her climb them. Sure there isn't. Stay in school. I thought I was making such a statement. Or was I trying to be ironic and hip? can't remember. Oh, you wrote that there, of course. Why am I staring at this thing? I've got important things to attend to. Well, I mean, yeah, stare there at the column. something very wrong with me. <laughs> sure there is. I seem to be fascinated by this column. Yes, you do. I'm trapped, frozen in place by the sudden realization of how beautiful this expression of aesthetic triumph and architectural... Get a move on, Kerwin. Right away. Hot damn. Yeah, it's gosh darn beautiful. Let's move on. <laughs> this is the best column it's in the only game. This is keeping the building from crashing down on us. Oh, uh, vine covered gargoyle. That's Steve, the gargoyle. How do you know that? We go way back. He's down with the vegetation, son. Can I not remove that? He's into the herbs, bro. He's all about them weeds. We're making lots of weed jokes, I see. They wouldn't like each other. Steve is the silent type. Of course he is. Oh, of course. What are you missing? Nope, nope, nope. We're good. Let's go into the... Let's go in. Let's go back into our job. Oh, this place is still on fire. Great. Uh... Oh, no. Can we do the whole bit with him? Amazingly, none of the maroon books look damaged, diehard little... They're the last thing I need at the moment. Are you sure about that? She's nodding to books. Says you. That hogwash is the last thing I need right now. Oh, come on. Kerwin. Man, Buzz is always problematic with everything I click. Some I missed of the her most type. fascinating books I've ever read. I personally and lovingly arranged them all in one book rack. All gone. Yeah, fire. <laughs> Such a loss. Mm. She's not into book. Says you. Okay, okay, I'll say the same thing. All gone. He lost all those books that day. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. A very intriguing looking book. Maybe I should take a closer look. Don't rhyme a like very that. Convenient treaties on the order voodoo magic ingredients should be used in. Whoa, convenient to say the least. Mental notes. Sometimes examining items several times really pays off. Well, yeah, that's why you click the button every time. You're the one with the. All right. Take the book. We're gonna need that one. Just like we have the other, but man, you could do that with a Necronomicon, to be honest. Of course, the hideous thing survives the deflagration. That's a big word you're using I there, Buzz. I I'm looking at it again. I hate that thing. I'll do it one more time. Oh. She cares nothing for art. You call that art? You have a point. Yeah, this is kind of like, you know, weird. It has no use. It has no use. That's you. Okay, I think we've got what we needed, Daddy. I want to make the arrow up here again, game. Game, I want to leave the room, please. My god. Now that we have a voodoo book, we might be able to practice some voodoo and get, you know, get a move on. Let me walk away from you. She wouldn't care about it. Oh, come on. Let's go into the room and see if I missed anything. Uh. Uh. Miss this. I'd say she looks cute, but she's within earshot. Stop. That's Kitty, my... 
totally un- Really? Touche. Okay, we heard that line. It's an embarrassing baby picture. Move on. No, I want it. Nah, I don't need it. Ugh. Beans of cake. What we got in here? Oh, wait. This is a thing. It's a book Lemon left open. Well, let's see here. Page on the left says a compass is a magnetized pin floating in a solution. It's not the 1700s anymore, Lemon. Jeez, what a Luddite. Oh no, you can't say the word Page Luddite right anymore, says, buddy. It's in gonna mean different thing. context. Use Lemon just to write secret messages on paper. Only you will be able to then read them by bringing the paper close to a source of heat. Note, make that a source of mild heat, not open flames. Well, yeah, if it was open flames, mm. it would just catch fire. Well, crazy. No need. Uh, I can read it myself. It's a book, Lemon Left Oak Compact. Oh, is that just the operating of the book does? Page on the in note. Well, we figured that all out without using the book, so... Kitty's lighting is a little weird in that room. It's flickering from being lit to not lit. And I'm not 100% sure why that's happening. Glad that the resolution is fixed. Hey. Do you know how to get your fish down? Oh. It doesn't tell me. I can't reach it from down. Wait a minute. They won't help in this situation. But the soda might. Not a clue why I do that. Oh, come on. Wouldn't help here. I can climb higher than that. Easy. I can climb that thing, no problem. I just don't have a reason to. We have bigger fish to fry. Okay. Get it. Hey, kitty, how about you climb up and get that fishy for me? Well, you gotta ask yourself, Buzz. What do we stand to gain from me exerting myself in that manner? Hmm. See? Don't anger me, feline. Come on, Buzz. You're embarrassing yourself. Don't you want to do it just to put a smile? You mean that pale abomination? How about we have nothing to do with her or her face? How's that sound? Your heart is the tip. Don't try. Okay, okay. We heard those lines. She still won't do it. Ah, street sign. Barely make it Christopher out. Christopher Valiant Street. Never heard of him. Small text Prince eh? says his body was found headless on the street, so they named it after him. Charming story. Beautiful. Christopher Valiant is an okay guy. There, happy. Wow, she's so well, aggressive. He can now quit while he's ahead. That did. <laughs> At least it brought things to a head. You son of a bitch. Thank you for your sacrifice, Christopher Valiant. What's this? Man, that's one attractive dude. This picture of a male model. I feel like I need. I need to have it. Why? <laughs> Why? Get it yourself. You can reach it. I must take this. Just to be clear, I'm not picking this up for personal use. Sure you're not. Sure, Jane. She, uh... She tracks my cursor with her eyes. Like, look, look at that. Look at that. You can see it. I'm sure you can. It's a picture of a male model I picked up from the street. The I mean, picture, that is. this is probably gonna incite something. I don't think she cares about this dude. Okay. Luckily, he didn't go there. Luckily, the that the dev was smart. He he wasn't gonna do something like that. Nah. I have a feeling that we might be able to use this on her. Nah, she doesn't need to see good-looking dude. Wait, wait a minute. I don't want to cut Mr. Handsome over here. What? Wait a minute. Voodoo. I know exactly zero voodoo, so that's a no. And? Doesn't look like the soda type. This is amazing that there's dialogue for all Cookies of this. Cookies are not what made this guy so buff. I mean, that's not even a normal cookie, man. Let's not hex the guy. Hey, you want to be Necronomicon? That wouldn't make me look more endearing, would it? I need to talk to you once more. I'm a fool. Anyway, I was wondering if you're waiting by this mysterious door. Oh, did he give you the boot too? He told me I just have to sit for a while and rethink what I wished for my husband. He told you? The gentleman, dummy. Oh, of course. So, what'd you wish for your husband? 
Why, his untimely gruesome death, of course. Of course. I'm Margot, by the way. A name! New charisma friend! We've got friend power! Nice to meet you, Margo. So the gentleman wouldn't help you off your hubby, huh? Something about not doing any literal harm and using the forces for good to balance out recent events. This may sound like he's a cultist. Blah, blah, blah. Did you try marriage counseling? That's where I got this address. That makes oh. sense. That, that, this, this is Darkum. That makes sense. <laughs> Can I ask what your husband did to make you homicidal? Oh, I'm perfectly convinced he's trying to murder me to get my money. Ouch. Wouldn't that it sounds be like clue. to just divorce or write him out of the will? Yes, I guess it would be. But what better way of responding to murder than with, well, murder? She has a point, I'm Buzz. never getting married. Say, you wouldn't happen to be a gun for hire, would you? This is a yes. I happen to be an anything I for hire. I happen to be an anything for hire. Want to make an easy buck? I, uh, sheesh, I really can't this week. I have this cursed ancient tome and a talking cat to take care of, so, uh... I get the feeling you're pulling my leg, Buzz. What? No, that one's oh, true. you'd know if I did that. I'm a librarian. Oh, all right. Yeah. Then. <laughs> How about the last one? I'm an undercover cop. Put him up. Stick him up. Yeah, right. Let me see your badge, officer. I left it in my investigating pants. Well, I know, well, I know, well, I know a private investigator. Different He's uh, kidnapped. You know. Return in those pants and you're free to arrest me. Uh, cleaner said they'll only be done by Tuesday. They got badge shining services too. I walked right into that one. I'm a... never mind. Gotta run. So run. Okay, cool. Excellent. Uh, need to get a password out of her, so I'm going to assume that this guy knows it. Hey, I got a name, buddy. So about the blonde girl. Yeah? What she to you? I'm a sidle. I'm a friend. I'm oh, a wait, word that's not what you're asking. So I watch her from afar. Oh, friend. Right. I happen to have overheard what her name is. You know, taxi stuff. Not taxi crazy. stuff! Surely you I know it too, voice. since you're friends. Yeah, it's Margo. Sure, it's my friend Margo. Huh. Guess you weren't lying. Well, might as well tell you. She dropped something on the back seat when she left, but uh, she was out of sight by the time I noticed. She... she's literally around the corner. Oh yeah? How'd you feel about returning this to her? Looks like a letter. It might be important. You can't get out of the car, take a few steps in that direction, and return it yourself? This is a business, kid. I might lose a customer. All the money counts in today's age of things. If I leave it, yeah, I'll take yeah, it. sure. Let me have it. Good man. Say, you won't open it, will you? Do I look like the kind of fella who'd pry into the opposite sex's correspondence? I wouldn't know what that kind of fella looks like. Thank God. Here you go. Yeah, we got a letter. Beloved Margo, here it is. An old-fashioned letter since you said email can be easily intercepted. I've, I've even tried writing it by hand, but well, you don't want to see the results. Missing you. Ah, your sweet perfume, your golden hair shining in the morning light, your glittering expensive jewelry. Oh, Margot, Margot, are you sure about Tony's intentions? My God, he he's your husband. Would he really go as far as hurting you, or me for that matter? I know I was against this initially, but now I'm convinced. You need to see the voodoo gentleman and try to get him to do what's needed. I've stated, I started this poem for you, but it's so hard to find words that rhyme with your lovely name other than cargo and embargo. I'll persist. So forward to seeing you, uh, so looking forward to seeing you, it hurts. You are the paramedic to my horrible freeway pileup. 
Your intermittently but lovingly, Charlie. But a, a, another. What? What were the chances of this? Charlie again. Oh, yeah. You rascal, you. Plus 10 can <laughs> cunning, but minus 25 morality. Nice guy aura removed. We lost our nice guy buff. Uh, hello there? Password? Oh shit, I don't have a password. Password. Nice try. Okay. <laughs> Let's go tell- Hey, I'm gonna go tell the little girl about your secrets. I mean, this is gonna be me. I- This playthrough is gonna be very thorough. I'm still not gonna get the achievement for clicking everything in a playthrough. I'm pretty sure I still miss shit in the intro with- with Don. Cause you're supposed to do this on every screen and click everything. Oh, there's one I missed. That ominous tower belongs to the local waterworks. The waterwork? Well, that makes sense for Arkham, actually. I'm sorry, Darkham. We got copyrights going there's on. There's talk of a dozen people jumping off it. I guess you could call it popular. That sounds good. I could land that fall with my eyes closed. I just don't wanna. Well, get up there, you cat. No thanks. I'll stick around for now. Okay, let's... Doesn't care about the letter. Okay, let's look at the letter. Okay. Doesn't look like there's a password in the letter. Because he didn't learn a password from I'm getting distracted by the violin. Here you go. All right, Margo, I'm going to drop the act here. Charlie sent me. Charlie who? Charlie, you're a lover, that's who. Things are getting complicated, and he said I should take it from here. I need that password. Well, all right. If Charlie said so, yes, the exactly. password is Fidelio. Fidelio. Okay. Don't do anything stupid, just stay put. I'm on it. Understood, Buzz. Oh, I do hope everything works out fine. Don't worry, Don't I'm gonna make worry. a stereotypical Itali well, Italian man gesture in into the mic. Endeavors. Goodbye, Buzz. And thank you. He'll be handled. Yeah, sure. No problem. Don't worry, he'll be handled. Everything will be handled. There's so many damn... Oh, I can see the moon from here. What the... Well, it's, uh, the moon. That's pretty much it. Nah. Nah. He doesn't have very much fun with the moon. Uh, hello there? Password? Fidelio. Fidelio. <clears throat> Sounds familiar. Can't play, I can't quite place the reference. Oh, you are a hundred percent a freaking reference. Oh, my favorite. Oh, Lord. There are strange, spiky vines all over this crazy place. He's really got a vegetation problem in here. Sure he does. Needless to say, she's not impressed. I really don't want to touch the strange, spiked vines. Sure you don't. Sinister and appropriately illuminated. Well, they look more African than Caribbean to me, but hey. You're not an he expert on that, you know. By primitive art, or any art for that matter. Shut up, I'm a little into German expressionism. Oh, you're into a different art, like, every time. That's strange, it looks I thought it was cubism last time. And ichthyoid at the same time. Icti what now? Fish-like. What, what if they're it's fish humans? The what about that little girl out there? She's a fish human, right? It's not a fish, it's just fish-like. Do not want. I wouldn't touch it for a hundred bucks. He either died in the 1700s uh, or the 80s. The skull stuck to a piece of driftwood. Must have been a sailor or a mighty pirate. Who knows? Sure, surely these are not Trust Monkey me, Island references. I can smell bad luck and misadventures all over it. <laughs> Thanks, no, Guybrush. I have a feeling he's been clicked enough while he lived. Oh, that, well, that's probably true. They're it's still making Guybrush adventures to this day. Chest. I can feel waves of eerie energy emanating from it. Ooh. To be honest, it's freaking me out a little bit. It's an issue of Vogue magazine. The headline reads, The Fishmut Look. Oh, wait, we're probably going to need to I'm know sure that. I'm sure I'm not into the Fishmut Look. Kitty can't read. Yet. I don't want it. It... That skull on top of it looks like nothing I've ever seen before. I heard cats absorb negative energy and transform it into the good kind 
but we're not gonna risk her napping on that thing. Funny looking skulls! Hey, these are Halloween skulls. Skulls are skulls, all right? Sometimes it's hard to get the genuine article. Whatever, man. I see some traces of glitter. Oh, totally unprofessional. Kitty doesn't care about non-edible decorations. Nah, I don't need them. What about this skull? That's an oddly shaped skull. Reminds me of a Mexican guy I once knew. Hmm. Viva la revolucion! Wonder which skull like references this. Him and cats didn't get along. Oh, microwave. It's like a beat up microwave oven. Like a little seal over here too. I guess Voodoo's somewhat keeping up with the technology. What if he needs to eat burritos? I hate those things. I heard they give you cancer. No joke here. Not Kinda touching do. Voodified home appliances. Nah, I just disturb the carefully arranged decor. Oh, here we got the double-headed doll. Let's look at that. Hey, look, it's a double-headed doll. Voodoo Vince! Made in San Francisco. Absolutely. Looks plenty fine to me. <laughs> Maybe even double fine. We all know why that's there, you sycophant. Bad kitty, that's called a tribute. Yeah, right. <laughs> I think I'll have to ask the voodoo guy first. What are we missing? Oh, this one. Hey, isn't that... That's identical to Lemon's Mask. But it's tiny. I must be shopping at the same Swedish furniture shop. Kitty isn't impressed by primitive art, or any art for that. Shut up, I'm a little into... Okay, she already did that line. I don't want it, and it doesn't want me. What else are we missing? The voodoo throne, pineapple, banana. Wall. <laughs> the wall? Oh, I'm sorry. Ancient cell phone. Boy, that is one ancient device. That is a pretty blocky cell phone. I guess it somehow goes with the ancient theme he's got going here. Kitty has no friends to call. I heard that. Well, she's a cat. Hello, operator. I've never heard that one before. Hello? I... That's great. That looks like an authentic voodoo throne. Given the lack of other amenities, I really hope it's more comfortable than it looks. No, we're already up to our necks in ancient curses. Sure you are. Sure you are, Buzz. How about a pineapple? Ananas camosis, if you really want to know. I didn't know that, but it sounds right for a bromeliad. No thanks. I'm good. Oh, come on. Though she enjoys the occasional olive, Kitty's a carnivore. Are cats allowed to eat olives? That ish is bananas. That's a way to say I that. I really don't know how else to describe them. Though she enjoys the... I don't think I need bananas. Sure you don't. It looks like a ship's wooden hull. I'd wonder about its presence here, but given the rest of the interior decorations... He clearly is a voodoo man from another game. care for anything water-related. No, we don't need each other. Sure we don't. How about a sword? Looks like a pirate sword. Shiny. Then take it. She's not crazy about blades. No need for that in this day and age. I, I guess. What, what are we missing? Uh. Uh. I think we hit everything. Let's let's look at the voodoo guy. Everything about this guy screams voodoo louder than Jimmy would. That is quite the eclectic getup he's sporting. Oh yeah, he's, he's a voodoo man. I know I'm supposed to be intimidated, but somehow I feel Schaefer around him. I feel. Don't you talk about Tim Schaefer to me. Uh, of course you're gonna make references to Schaefer. Oh boy, here we go. Nah. <laughs> Alright. How about we give him... I don't think just popping out the Necronomicon before talking to him is such a good idea. Okay, how about how about the model? That good? Better talk to him first. Oh, so that is something we need to do with that one. Right, he's probably gonna want that. How about some scissors? Better talk to him. You want a soda? I'm not sure he's ready to taste fishmouth. <laughs> How about a cookie? And by the looks of things, it wouldn't impress him. Ah, oh, come on. Well, we're actually gonna be out of time, so we're not gonna talk to him until next video. 
But uh, it's been fun clicking everything and clicking everything against everything. And now we know that we actually have to use some of the items we have in our inventory with the Voodoo Man. But only after we get done talking with him. I mean, for one, we need to level up our friendship stat. Obviously, we didn't become friends with him, so we need to do that first. But that will all happen next time. So this has been Impact with Let's Play Give Us a Cthulhu Adventure. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. Next time, we are going to talk to the Voodoo Man. I will see you then.